Hi, I'm Bharat, the team head of Avishkar Hyperloop. I have been a part of Avishkar Hyperloop since the past three and a half years. And in front of me, I have seen three Hyperloop pods being developed. So in 2019, we had made the pod for participating in the SpaceX Hyperloop pod competition and got to meet Elon Musk. Uh, two years later, we developed a Hyperloop pod for participating in the European Hyperloop Week. In our journey of scalability, we have achieved contactless propulsion and braking. Until now, we have researched for around three or four years on uh, contactless levitation as well. But uh, this year was, was the year where we developed a levitation mechanism on the pod. We also worked on building a custom track from scratch where we can implement propulsion, braking and levitation. I'm Satya Chakravarti, Professor of Aerospace Engineering at IIT Madras. I have been the faculty advisor to the Avishkar team for Hyperloop in IIT Madras since 2018. In that sense, I'm actually the oldest member of uh, the team. Avishkar actually has been making progress year on year ever since they started in 2017. Uh, through the uh, points of 2019, the SpaceX pod run competition and uh, uh, the couple of European Hyperloop competitions that they have been going to in 2021-2022. Uh, every year they actually make more progress over the next year as the team keeps rolling by from one set of students to another students, handheld by seniors to the juniors. So it's a very professionally run team in that sense and the technical progress actually speaks for itself. Hi, I'm Vibhor, heading the team Avishkar along with Bharat and Yash. In the initial phase when we got handed over uh, the team, we had very big goals of developing and designing a complete 500 meter vacuum tube as we have been assigned a space in the new campus of IIT Madras for that. I would like to say that we have made significant progress in the same. We have developed three prototypes and buckled one of the prototype which was one of the best memories I have. One of the major achievements of the infrastructure team was uh, we have filed three patents on two on tubes and one on the track. And we expect that we will have a half a kilometer long subscale vacuum tube ready in our new campus, which will actually be a great tourist attraction as well as uh, will set the stage for us to run our international competition ourselves, in addition to having a levitating pod with a very good efficiency for the propulsion. So this is exciting times for Indian Hyperloop. Uh, it's exciting times for us to be able to take the lead across the world and uh, mark our leadership globally. I'm really excited for the team. Initially, it was like we went to companies and we asked for sponsorship money uh, out of uh, CSR, but now we have started collaborating with them and that's a great, you know, curvature that we have followed. So with the kind of belief and funding we are getting from uh, government, industry or partners, we really believe that we'll develop the real Hyperloop technologies for India and in India. I'm Janvi and I work in high power systems. So the two main driving forces for me to work at Avishkar are the team and the nature of the work. Everybody is always on their toes to step in so as to make the pod ready. Because of this team only, we have been able to make the pod ready in such squeezed timelines. So Hyperloop is a new and fresh technology and working for that is like my dream always. Avishkar is the only team uh, which has achieved so many things uh, in this technology. I always wanted to work in futuristic technologies, so Avishkar provides a platform for that. And uh, Hyperloop has uh, not been anywhere in, around the world, so bringing Hyperloop in India and uh, develop its technology for the world is the like uh, whole idea. Uh, building a Hyperloop will bring us one step closer to our goal of a carbon negative transportation system. And this I believe is a truly important goal that we should work towards. My subsystem works in collecting data from various sensors around the pod and it deals with controlling different subsystems and we interact with other subsystem mechanics to actuate the brakes and propel the pod. It's the stability and the road holding which we provide to the pod. That in a, in a difficult situation, in a high speed situation, that how we are going to handle those things and how we give them more and more comfort to the passengers and how we reduce the, uh, the shock which will come from the track to the pod. So that's our system too. The business team really, I would say, handles the front end and the back end of the team in a sense that we are the ones talking to the sponsors, talking to companies and trying to bring them on board in a sense the way we did it with the Indian Railways. But at the same time we handle all the money aspects, the finance, the logistics and all of that aspect as well. But at the same time we handle the branding part, the, the way people see our brand and the designing part of it. And it's honestly so diverse that it's really hard to put it into one or two sentences. We are humbled to have received support in more ways than one from our sponsors, including commercial vehicle giant Bharat Benz and other industry leaders such as LNT Technology Services. 
investments india hexavest vetlock and ansys and we would not be where we are today without these sponsors and we're so grateful for their belief in our potential as the team aims to achieve higher and higher velocity every year we are responsible for building fail proof mechanisms to decelerate the pod at any scenario so because we are working on uh, lithium ion batteries which are dangerous the biggest challenge was to ensure the safety throughout the process of assembly uh, and manufacturing so the biggest challenge for a subsystem was to ensure that all systems on pod should work in sync and that there's a fail safe for all possible errors we could encounter during the run so levitation the mechanism that we use is actually inherently unstable if there's deflections by about 1 mm we have it sticking to the track or we have it falling completely so controlling that part was the biggest challenge that our subsystem faced the biggest challenge we faced was finding manufacturers that fit our requirements because not a lot of people here or in the world make things like this or help make things like this so finding people that could uh, carry out our complicated winding requirements was definitely one of the bigger challenges So first time I saw the pod run physical, so that was like a memorable stuff for me because after working hard for one year and seeing that this, the stuff is running, like it was much more like I can't express in the words. One word I can say is amazing. Okay, it feels really good. It has been a roller coaster of a journey, but uh, seeing all subsystems come together and uh, make sure that this happens. on the plan date uh, that was a really amazing feeling like the entire team has been working so hard day and night with so many like sleepless nights and none of us had eaten food properly and things like that but at that one moment it's suddenly all so worth it and it's it's amazing to see it all come together that was one of the happiest moments like i have had over a long time because we have been working for it for a long time and seeing the pattern was like you know the result of what our, all of our hard work so i was you know completely happy with that To be very frank, I would change nothing. Uh, things didn't go perfectly well, but then again, imperfections are what makes engineering fun, and I would say that I wouldn't change a thing. Railway minister, when he visited IIT Madras for seeing Hyperloop technology, he showed a lot of enthusiasm in listening to our presentations, in seeing our prototypes and testing of that prototypes. Uh, he actually mentioned that he is now the 72nd member of Avishkar Hyperloop team, which is uh, one of the best memories we have. The 71 member team of Hyperloop. has today got a 72nd member so i have joined as the 72nd member of the hyper excellent thank you. Thank, you. thank you i'm going to wear it
we have walked out of the competition with a very good confidence in terms of propulsion technology, uh, electrical systems, and in fact, we are really confident that we are kind of a lot ahead from other teams in terms of vacuum and tube technology. Uh, our only competition that is there in these aspects is the multi-million dollar startups that are working on these technologies. So moving forward, there's a lot in store for Hyperloop. We have in this year built a very solid groundwork to take forward the, uh, the journey. This year, uh, in the coming year, we are really looking forward to a subscale pilot of Hyperloop where we will prove the entire technology end-to-end -end. vacuum systems, the Hyperloop tube, high-speed runs, levitation, braking, regenerative braking, va uh, vacuum compatibility, all of it. And to really prove the technology of Hyperloop that yes, it can be done, it can be done at an affordable cost. Uh, and that is something that we all as a team are really excited about and in fact we have been getting a lot of support from the institution and there's a lot of emphasis on making this happen, so we are really looking forward.